Hi everybody, it's Trasa from AMPA. Um, in today's video, we are going to work on a little bit of beginner tumbling and acro and stretching of our backs and stuff. Um, so follow along, you don't need a mat, but I do recommend a soft surface at least, unless you fall. Parents or whoever's there with you watching, I wanna try and help and give some tips for spotting and um, supporting your your dancer as they're working on these things, as well as things to look for to help them improve. All right, so let's get started. So Sawyer, come on over. First thing you're gonna do is just stretch on our backs a little bit. So we're gonna start on our back, lay this way, please. Feet towards me, perfect. So gonna lay on our back, hands by your ears, fingertips are facing towards her heels, feet are just hip width apart. She's gonna push her belly button up by pushing her feet down and her hands down. Good, keep your knees bent for now. Feet stay nice and parallel. And now just do 10 rocks. She's gonna go arms, feet, arms, feet. The bigger they rock, the better. Seven, eight, nine, 10. And gently come down by tucking your chin. Good girl, shake it out. Good. So when they're in their bridge, you wanna think of, you wanna try and look at their knees and make sure they're not going open. So I just do a little bit. And try not to let their feet turn out. You wanna keep them as parallel as you can. All right, so now we're gonna push up again. Nope, push back up to your bridge. And this time we're gonna lift uh, one leg, one leg, okay? She's gonna push up and go. She's gonna keep her arms super straight, lift a leg and down, and lift a leg and down, good. And come on down, tucking that chin, good. Try to keep your opposite foot flat. Grab your knees in, you can rock back and forth, stretch out that back a little bit. Good, so when they lift those legs, it, it really helps to strengthen in their hips as well as in their shoulders, keeping their head off the floor. All right, one more time. She's gonna push up. This time she's gonna do alternating hands, touching opposite shoulders, so right to left. And again, it's really good for uh, shoulder strength, back strength, yeah. She's gonna push up, trying to keep her feet parallel. She's gonna just go as slow or as fast as she needs to, one arm, then the other. One arm, then the other. Seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good. And gently come up. Good girl. Shake it out. Okay, good. Now we're going to work on, um, well actually flip around to your knee. Let's do our cat stretch for our shoulders. So now, so we stretch out when you're doing a bridge. It's stretching out pretty much the whole majority of her back, but especially her lower back. So now we're going to work on stretching out the shoulders of the upper back. So she's going to go to her cat stretch. She's basically going to have her bottom right above her knees. And then from there, she lifts her arms right above her shoulders. Parents, make sure they're right above their shoulders. And then you can take your hand, parents, kind of right between their little shoulder blades and think about pushing their little head or their little chest down into the floor. It's okay if their head is turned. They can have it turned. They can have their chin straight. Doesn't matter. Either one is fine. Make sure their bottom stays up. They're going to want to sit their bottoms back just to relieve it a little bit. Good. And gently come off. Very good. Another great shoulder stretch. Come on over here, sorry, let me show this one. You can put your elbows, kind of like you're praying here, um, with your fists straight up, and then walk your bottom back, and then try to drop your shoulder, your chest down. Come show that for me, Sawyer. She's gonna put her elbows up, and it could be on a kitchen counter, it could be on your bed. Good, now walk back. Good, and now drop your head between your elbows. Ooh, it's hard to fit, isn't it? You feel that stretch? in your shoulders, pressing it down. Good, you feel that stretch in your triceps too, the backs of your arms a little bit. Yes, good. All right, gently come out. Okay, now we're gonna move on to standing bridges, which a lot of us did. So the first thing, actually, before we do that, fire, can we do the reaching back with our fingertips to come up on your knees? Good, go to your knees right here, facing towards me. So the most important thing, face towards me, buddy, if you don't mind, Good. Knees are apart, okay, for stomach up. The most important thing that you need to do is make sure that they lead with the top of their head and their arms. A lot of uh, kids want to kind of sink in their hips first and then arch back. They kind of do this like worm roll thing. That's wrong. You want to lead kind of like a fountain pouring out of the top of the head. She goes back with her head first, tries to touch the floor. Ugh. And then come up. Head is the last thing up. That's important too. Do two more, just like that. So top of the head. Wait, hang on. Y'all saw how she just did that. She stuck her belly out first. You want to arch first. Go. There. And up. Try 
try one more all by yourself this time. Shoulders and head. Move and up. Good girl. All right, good. So the same idea. Good. Shake it off whenever you need to. Same idea standing now. We're going to do a standing bridge, okay, you guys? So if you're spotting your, your dancer, feet apart. Their feet should be no wider than their hips. So a lot of them like to go super wide like Sawyer is. Close them in a little bit. Good. So about in line with your hips. You don't want to be super wide. So that's just kind of cheating. Now, arms above their head. Don't want to be forward. Now you're going to lead with the top of your head, not with your belly. As they do this, you want them to think about pushing their bottom forward towards that wall. Yes? So you're going to lead with the top of your head and keep your bottom pushing towards me. Up. Good. She rocks and she comes up. Head is the last thing up. So again, people spotting, you can put your foot in between their legs. You want them to push their hips towards, my, towards your leg as they lead with the top of their head in their hands. So try it again. Sorry. Push your hips towards me, top of the head. She rocks and up. Good. You want to try one by yourself? Good. Arms up strong. Push your hips forward. Top of the head leads. Rock and come up. Good girl. Not bad. So if you're working on that, and you're kind of working towards that, a good way to work on it, and a good way to really see if they're leading at the top of the head, come do this. Do you remember how we did this, where you stand facing this way, and you're gonna reach back towards your feet, hands on the mat, to do the bridge? Yeah. Okay, so if you're at home, you have an ottoman, or a couch, or um, maybe a low toddler bed, I don't know really what you have, or a gymnastics mat that's folded, this is a great place to start. Because if you're not at the very end of that bridge, a lot of times they kind of want to flatten out and lean with their back, which is what you don't want, obviously. So this is really helpful to have a ledge. So as she goes back, feet parallel. There you go. As she goes back, she pushes her hips forward. She leads with the top of her head. Strong arms. Nope. You sunk in your ribs first. Top of the head. There. Touch the mat and then try to rock and come up. Yeah, it's just a good, a good kind of test to make sure at the end that they're not flattening out, okay? Great, now let's leave that. So now we'll go into kind of staying with the bridge. So that's a good help for the standing bridge. They get to the bottom and then they rock, try to leave up. Now we're gonna work on our kickovers, okay? So this is kind of the starting place for a um, back walkover, right? So again, the most important thing when you're doing, hang on, I'm gonna show them their shoulders, any tumbling, when you're at the top of that handstand, you've gotta make sure that they're pushing out of their shoulders. Ugh, 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 they're not sinking. You also wanna make sure, Sawyer is very sway back, you wanna make sure that this is staying tight. So this stays up and this stays tight. So do me a favor, Sawyer, and kick to a handstand facing that way. Ready? I'm going to catch you. So you're going to kick that back of where I just put you. Handstand right here. Go. Good. So she's in her handstand. She's going to push out of her shoulders. That's beautiful. See how your butt's going back though? Can you get that all underneath you? Like someone's pulling your toes up. Okay? And push, 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 push. Good girl. So then when you're rolling, if you were to do a handstand walk, like I know Piper asked for handstand walks, so watch what you're going to want to do. She's going to push to her handstand. And I say push, and I mean push, push to the top. Push to the top like someone's grabbing your feet. Now every time you walk, you can't sink into your shoulder. Try to walk for me. I'm pulling up in her ankles. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. Keep your ass tight. Yeah, and if you saw her ribs and her core kind of moving, that's what you don't want. You want to try and keep it super straight and just push out of those shoulders the whole time. You want to try one by yourself? Okay, push to your handstand. Push out of your shoulders, and every step you take, you kind of push a little more out of those shoulders and keep pulling your feet up like someone's grabbing them. Go. Push. Okay, good handstand. Try again. Very nice. Push. Ah, do you see how you stayed in an arched back? Try not to arch. One more time. So you want to try to be as straight as you can be without arching your back when you start walking. There we go. Better, better. Pull, pull, pull. Good. Not bad. Okay. Moving back to our, our kickovers, you guys. So you're gonna start on the couch, on your bed, whatever you're on. The higher the surface, the easier it is. So as you get stronger, we'll lower it down. Okay, so she's gonna lay on her back. 
She's gonna reach back, hands are strong above her shoulders. Now, first thing she's gonna do is twist to a bridge. Bottom and back stay off of the mat or the bed or whatever you're using. People who are helping spot, if you see that when they kick, their back goes towards the mat, it's because they're not pushing out of the shoulders. So now lift and kick, push out of the shoulders, good. So her back stayed nice and off the mat. If you saw that it rocked backwards, it's because they're not pushing as they kick, and that's what you want to do. So now we're gonna lower the surface for her. Try this one. So a good way to spot this, guys, those of you who are helping at home, take your hand, put it right at their upper back, and just, if you feel it kind of pull towards you, they're dropping in their shoulders. Remind them to push with their shoulders. Okay, so then a good way we'll start our back walk over is we'll just do a standing bridge and then kick over at the end, yes? This is where the, uh, the pushing out of the shoulders, as well as the lifting one leg at a bridge at a time, is very helpful. Because if they aren't quite strong enough to hold that, then it's gonna be very hard for them to kick. Okay, so you're pulling super tight. Don't stick your butt back, push your hips forward, and head meets first. Go, head, whoop, that wasn't the head first. Mm-hmm, not bad, try it again, straighten those knees. So head first, don't sink in your booty first. Go, head first, oh, better. That was much lighter, good. So that's just a kick over. So a, a proper back walk over will have a foot out. Sawyer's a righty, so I'm gonna help her. So what a lot of people forget to do is you know they do their standing bridge and that's gotten better they forget to kick their leg so a lot of the girls will come to me and they'll have they're doing great with their bridge kick over kind of like Sawyer's doing and then all of a sudden they have a foot out and they kind of freak out and it's mainly because they forget to put power in this leg and they release in their shoulders yeah so again foot is out but nothing changes arms are high belly is tight hips press forward as she reaches back with her head first go Yes, and kick that leg. Better, good. It's at the very end. It's right when they start kicking that they want to release in their shoulders. And as long as you guys, as you start kicking that leg, as long as you push out of your shoulders, you shouldn't have a problem. And keep pushing, yeah? Try it again. And give that leg some power, okay? So she's lifting high, arms are high above her shoulders. She's gonna lean with her head first. I got you, I'm not gonna let you fall. She's gonna lean with her head first, kick. Good, get a little bit more energy to that leg. Very nice, one more time. Lead with your head first. If you guys see, she kind of sinks in her ribs first still. Think about really staying tall through here and reaching with the head. And go. There, that was a good one. Very nice. Those of you who have a back walkover, do you feel really good with it? I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you two variations that will be good. Do exactly what you just did. Do exactly what you just did. I'm gonna stop you at the top, okay? So. Arms are up. Let's say you have a wonderful back walk over. Do exactly what you did. I got you. Nope. Nope. Oh, lead with your head first. Good. She's here. Great. Now she's going to be here. Now she's going to switch legs. Whoop. Yes. And she's going to land on her opposite leg and finish. Good. Another thing that's really good, do that again. Those of us who are working on variations of back walk overs, do exactly that. It's going to stop you at the top again. Ready? Lead with your head first. There, she's gonna switch legs. Boom, now watch what's gonna happen. She's gonna push this leg up high and she's gonna land in a needle. Hold, and preferably the legs would be straight and straight up and land in that needle. You gotta squeeze that bottom and hold that pretty position. Yeah? Um, good, those are good variations. Okay, so that wraps up our back flexibility. Uh, the handstand walks and pushing through your handstand as well as your what else do we work on? Back walkovers, yeah? And some variations of that back walkover. So make sure you're pushing out of your shoulders. Strong, um, strong leg as you kick. Keep your legs straight and pointed, right? Lead with your head on your bridge. What else? We need to work on back handsprings. Someone had requested to work on back handsprings. And this is what I'll tell you to do first. And parents, a lot of you may not be comfortable spotting these, and that's okay. So the thing you want for kids to do, I just want you to sit and jump, okay? When they sit, you don't want them to lean forward with their bodies. You want their bodies to actually sit back into their heels almost. No, no, just bend your knees. Sorry, doesn't like to bend. And she's gonna sit back. Stop walking your feet, please. And sit back, like that, like she's sitting in a chair. Sit back, yeah. That's the prep you want, yeah? So you can even just put your hands here and go, okay, arms start. 
and go, sit back, sit back. No, you gotta swing your arms. Go, and sit, no, Sawyer, start here, and then sit back, yeah. Okay, try it again, you gotta bend your knees, go. Bend your knees, uh-huh, you're not bending your knees, go. Bend your knees, there, and then when they swing up, a lot of times what they wanna do, what she does definitely, they just kind of throw themselves backwards. They've gotta get the hands above their shoulders, and then they've gotta stay nice and tight through here, and jump, yeah? So a lot of people will see you, they just wanna see you go sit back, jump, and jump straight up as high as they can, yeah? So work on those two elements, the sit back and the jump, and that will help with the spring, yeah? The other thing that was really helpful for back handsprings that I noticed with this young group, sit down, lay on your back, lay on your back, um, into a nice straight shape, we're gonna do three V-ups, is they forget when they're upside down, they're basically in the middle of their back handspring, they forget to pull their legs boom, over, which is a lot of ab strength, yeah? So doing some V-ups, here she's gonna show you three, go one, and down, control it, two, and down, control it, three, and down. Doing those every day will help with those abs and help for them to remember to get those legs over from the back handspring, yeah? Okay, I think that wraps up this video, yeah? Um, okay, so we will gather back together and we'll work on some turns and some leaps coming up. All right, thanks guys, see you soon.